Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at a bread song called Diary. Classic song, depressing, pure David Gates. It's excellent. Now I'm going to teach this a little differently because I'm not really going to play throughout the whole song because it's just very repetitive. I want to show you all the parts, but I want you to be able to play the parts properly. And so I'm just going to show you. The song starts off with a G major 7 chord, and it's basically just played with a D on the second string and an F sharp on the first string. And the notes are played with a G string open first, like this. He then plays two beats on the G string, but there's no push on the G major 7, and that's what really separates the men from the boys in this one. So the groove is like this. All right, so it's. The second chord, we bar the first fret of the first and second string, and we play it like this. All right, so that's G two notes, the double G, pushing the next chord, and then G and D. So it's... The next chord, we play a G down here with a C. So we're playing G, C, E up here. G, the first fret, and open with a G in the bass. And we play it like this. Then the pulse. And now here we're going to play three, then two and one together, then three. So, so it's. And that same pattern is going to follow this G bar chord. We play the sixth string. Then three and two, then the sixth string twice, and then four, three and two, and four. So let me show you all together how this is going to go. That's going to be repeated throughout. I read the diary beneath the tree. Okay. Now that's played twice once he starts singing. Then we get to this chord. E diminished 7. And da, da. G over D. I lift everything up except my pinky. To a D7. to a D sharp diminished seven, which is really like a D seven if I just lifted this finger up. But I, with a D sharp in the bass, to an E minor, which is just, we're playing all these chords are four string down chords. Then it's a G seven, four and one are together, then two and then three, and then the bass note, G. Then we play a C to a G. C, G. And the G I'm playing is just the G, muted fifth string, everything else open except for the high E string is on the G as well. So let me play that part for you one more time. Then it goes right back into it does all that again while he's singing and again we get to
Okay, now here's a section. I don't know if you'd call it a bridge, but it happens twice. D. B7 over D sharp. We have a D sharp, A, open B and F sharp. E minor. G7 over D. C. A minor. D. I'd call this next one a G over C to a G over B, over C, B7 sus4. Then it goes back to the chords again in the beginning, goes back to the section that starts with the E diminished, then it goes back to the section with the D. So basically the second time, instead of playing the B7 sus4, it goes back to a G, to a G over B, C, and then D11, which is a C over D, but here it's a D11 because it's the 5 and the G. And that is how you play Diary by Bread. Now, because I didn't play that much of the song, hopefully I'm not going to get a copyright strike and have to fight with them about this one. But here is the song broken up into parts that you'll be able to figure out, piece it together. I hope you dig it. Very good.